My name is Olaf McCausen, and this is my husband, Wilson. And today we're doing uh, story five, The People Got Picks. So, number five. And on it we have a lady. Abraham had a son named Isaac, and Isaac had a son named Jacob. Jacob's name means trickster which was a good name for him, because he did a lot of tricking and lying and stealing. Jacob wasn't a very good person at all. The odd thing is, God had chosen Jacob. One of Jacob's great, great, great grandchildren would be a child who would bring God back to all the people on the earth. Through Jacob, God would send a son, and everyone would say, God has come to live with us. That's how it is with God sometimes. He doesn't always pick the people we might think. One day, while Jacob was running away from his brother because he had stolen from him again, Jacob met and fell in love with a girl named Rachel. No one was surprised that Jacob fell in love with Rachel. She was young and pretty. Of course Jacob loved her and wanted to marry her. Jacob was so in love that he, pr he promised Rachel's father he would work for seven years just so he could marry her. Seven years! What a long time! But you know what they say, time flies when you're doing something for someone you love. So for Jacob, the seven years felt like a single day. When the wedding day came though, Jacob the trickster had a trick played on him. Rachel's dad decided to have Jacob marry Rachel's sister Leah instead. Jacob didn't know until it was too late. Boy was he mad. He didn't want to pick Leah because he didn't think Leah was pretty. He wanted to pick Rachel. But God wanted to pick Leah. Jacob of all people should have known that God doesn't always pick the people we think he may pick. Sadly, Jacob didn't see what God was up to. He still wanted Rachel, which made Leah feel sad and alone. But Leah wasn't alone. Just like God had chosen Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, God had chosen Leah, and through Leah, not Rachel, God would send a son, and everyone would say, God has come to live with us. You see, God was with Leah, and even when it was hard, and even when her husband didn't love her, and even when Jacob picked Rachel instead of Leah, God was with Leah. God gave Leah lots of children, and those children helped Leah feel really happy and more happy than before. But what made Leah happiest of all wasn't her children. It was believing that one of her great, great, great grandchildren would be the child who would bring God back. And even though for now Leah knew God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. So Leah began to hope and to pray. God, will you come back to stay? Now, uh, number five was the number on the block. We have a lady on it. And what letter do we have today? The letter N. Goodbye.